Hey everyone, what is going on? I am Rob with On The Fence Movie Review and I'm here to review a movie uh, that came out last week. Again, I am apologize for getting this review out to you a little late. Uh, it's been a busy weekend, but that movie is The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Now, the unbearable weight of massive, little, 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 that's a lot of words there. The unbearable weight of massive talent stars Nicolas Cage as Nick Cage and uh, Pedro Pascal, let me look at my notes here, as Javi. Um, so, so kind of the way this movie starts off is, you know, Nick Cage is, you know, Hollywood's a rough place to, to live and, and uh, you know, you, you know the, as, as quickly as you're the star, uh, it can turn around and you can be the nobody. And Nick Cage is kind of going through that. And, and he gets a proposal from uh, his manager saying that, hey, you know, this guy's a really big fan of yours. He wants you to fly out. He's going to pay you, I believe it's like a million dollars. He wants you to fly out and come to his birthday and celebrate with him. And that is kind of where I'm going to stop right there. I don't want to spoil the movie if you have not seen it. But let me just, again, let me say my likes and my dislikes of this movie. Uh, first off, first and foremost, I will say I really, really enjoyed the chemistry between Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal. I think they are the backbone of this movie. You, you, you know, I was honestly surprised of how much depth there was in these two characters. And, you know, Nicolas Cage plays, I, I guess, a, an amped up version of the characters he kind of typically plays in his movies but you know it's like Nicolas Cage turned up to 10 pretty much and Pedro Pascal is is this huge super fan of him and I, I think their chemistry together in this movie is pretty much the backbone of this movie it's the heart of this movie I enjoyed you know all the scenes they were in together I enjoyed it um I cared about what they were doing and and overall I I I think that this movie is funny as it is, and trust me, at least for me, there were parts where I was just like laughing hysterically. I found myself just like surprised of how hard I was laughing. But you know, that aside, this movie has a lot of heart and emotion, and you feel like when they're when they're hanging out together, you feel like you know you understand. Nick Cage is kind of you know talking about his issues, his problems, and in uh, Javi played by Pedro Pascal, is talking about, you know, how much he enjoys Nicolas Cage and just their overall chemistry. I just was like, that whacked it out of the park for me. And I was surprised by that. I think they both did an amazing job. Um, you know, I guess one of the negative things is there's other kind of um, side stories going on in this movie that I just really wasn't really invested in just because I was so connected with their friendship and them getting to know each other and them just kind of going on this this adventure and and when these other side stories started to come up I was just like okay I, I see what you're trying to do but I would rather I'm having fun hanging out with these two guys as opposed to these other stories coming in and I I understand what was going on but for me the I think the negative part of this movie was those other side stories but they even um kind of Nicolas Cage you know, and 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 Pedro, Pedro Pascal Javi uh, are are talking about you know movies, and they kind of this, this there's pieces of this movie that are pretty meta, and they kind of talk about what movies need to do to be successful, and and you know it, that part was kind of funny, but it, then it turns out you know it, in the third act some of that stuff comes to comes to fruition, and it's like where they were talking about it, and then it comes to you know, it happens and you, I think for me, part of it worked and part of it didn't like there, you know, the movie kind of takes a, a, a turn, but then they make some of that funny and it works, but then some of it doesn't work. But, you know, it, it's one of those things that it, it's, it's hard to say without ruining in the movie. So I'm going to kind of beat around the bush and it sounds like, you know, well, what's he trying to say? I'm trying not to ruin the movie, but I just think in the third act, they went in a direction 
that I understood why they went there, but at the same time, I wish they would have gone in a different way than they were, you know, the movie was kind of like, it's going this way and then it makes a turn this way and I get it. But also when they make this turn this way, they take little pieces of it and make it funny. So it was a little bit enjoyable. Um, overall for me, I'm going to say if you, this movie was surprisingly funny for me. And I'm going to say get off the fence and check out the unbearable weight of massive talent just because, you know, it, there, <laughs> there's, you know, actually a scene in the trailer was probably one of the funniest scenes in the movie. It's only a little snippet in the trailer where they're, you know, they're on this wall and I was dying like that whole, the whole scene that plays out in that part, uh, in, you know, in the movie that they just show in the trailer, I was rolling in the movie. Like I just could not stop laughing. It was so hysterical. Um, and I will say this movie is really, you know, it's funny throughout, but there are certain parts that are just hilarious. So I'm going to say get off the fence and check out the unbearable weight of massive talent. If you like this video, hit that like button. We truly appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to On The Fence Movie Review, hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications on so you can know anytime we post the video, whether it's a movie review or a real talk, that way you're in the know with us. Uh, if you have not followed us on Instagram, it's On The Fence Movie Review. Uh, we kind of post, you know, just when we go to the theater or just some kind of behind the scenes stuff or quick reactions when me or Adrian or Danny kind of come out of the theater, just quick thoughts on whatever movie we saw, not like a full review. So go ahead and go over there and follow us there. And remember, we'll catch you on the fence.